Hey guys, how's it going? Crispy here. The video you're about to see was actually one of three shorts that I turned in for my thesis at my film school. This sketch was intended for my PW class to see, so most of the jokes are catered to them, so here are some things you need to know before you see the video. One, Mike Hurst was my directing emphasis teacher. He's directed many horror movies, and I found him to be extremely inspirational. So inspirational that I actually made the sketch in his honor. Two, Mike hated the film Scott Pilgrim vs. The World with a passion. Three, another emphasis teacher in the class was a wonderful woman named Christina Sybil, who sometimes would not see eye to eye with Mike Hurst. And last but not least, Mike Hurst would end every class by saying, any questions? No? Fuck off. So I think that's about it, and I hope you liked the video. Me too! <laughs> not long ago, I was lost. I had no idea where I was going with my life. But most importantly, I had no sense of faith. And I found without something to believe in, we are truly lost. But recently, I found my faith. Hi there. Hello, my name's Chris. Hi. I'm here today to tell you about our Lord and Savior. Oh, no thank you. Oh, uh, please, uh, I only asked for five minutes. Sure. Excellent. I found that no other religion fulfilled me on a spiritual level. So I started the church of my cursed. What do you mean we're not allowed to watch certain movies? Well, you'll find there aren't many rules in our church, but it is considered a cardinal sin to watch certain movies. Like what for? Oh no, that's perfectly acceptable. Then what? Well, Scott Pilgrim is obviously the best example of something that's absolutely unacceptable. What? I mean, unless you want to go straight to hell and deal with the anti hurst herself, Christina Sybil. But you're more than welcome to see great films like Jurassic World. That film was not great. Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. Why would that film be all out? Yes, it is, and because it says so right here in scripture. No one man has ever motivated or inspired me more than my curse. I am who I am today entirely thanks to the Lord himself, and I've been a proud Hershian for over a year now. Ew! I just looked him up on IMDb. Did you know he was the guy who made House of the Dead 2 and Pumpkinhead 4? Yes, of course. Well, it would be wrong. If you're going to worship a director, at least pick some with some talent. <laughs> you know, some people are just very closed-minded and stuck in their ways. But you can't force people to believe what you believe in. Sometimes you just have to let bygones be bygones. May my curse be with you. And fuck off. <laughs>